I believe the devil wants to take over the church. I believe the devil wants to take over this church. One person at a time. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. Close your window. Go back inside your house. Go back inside right now. I am inside. We have a real chance at this new world order. An order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order, and instead it looks like we got a lot of disorder. It's been a long time coming because of what we did on this day, at this defining moment. Change has come to America. President Obama and British Prime Minister Gordon today calling for a new world order to tackle our global economic crisis. The affirmative task we have now is to actually create a new world order. Its task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. talk about the New World Order defined, as you have, as being Luciferian. Yes. Um, how do you know that? My investigations led me to look at the back of the American dollar, and I found these strange seals on the dollar here. They're Illuminati seals, which was a secret society set up in 1776 by a man called Adam Weishaupt. And on the back of the dollar here, you see the seal on the left-hand side, and there's an eye in the triangle. It's the eye of Horus in Egyptian mythology, now called the Eye of Lucifer, or Satan. The two words at the top, annua chapters, stand for announcing the birth of, and down the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum. And that great seal of the United States has on it, Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new order. And people should be asking the question, what is an Egyptian pyramid doing on the back of an American dollar? What link-up is there between America and Egypt? The answer is none at all except in the field of the occult. And thus we see we're dealing with a Luciferian plan. And people need to recognize the God of Freemasonry will lead the world into this peculiar and particular purpose for which America was set up, which is to lead the whole world system into a one world government, a one world religion, a one world law system, and a one-world money system that the Bible calls the Mark of the Beast.